Now I know what y'all are thinking. How could they possibly make a show all about just letters and words on a page and the way they look? Not even what they say? We're gonna teach you something about those letters on a page. Something that you're gonna take on for the rest of your life. Get ready. Pick it up. I love to fall, baby. Yeah. I love to fall. All right, you guys wow. ready? Okay. Always gets me every uh, time. Yeah. Don't really know. All right. I don't have my. Welcome to the Fontcast. Hey. Hi. We're here to talk about. This is our first episode. We haven't ah! done this before. Ah! We're trying out. Yep. We're Sorry, trying. Excited, <laughs> we're trying to do excited. a new, a new thing, where we tell you guys all about fonts, the history about them, things like that. Yeah. Our personal favorites, Our favorites. you know, things Topical like that. Fonts and current events. And this Topical. episode, um, I know we haven't been talking about it because it's our first episode, but we are going to get to Comic Sans. Oh, you Comic guys Sans waited. Today. You guys we're were gonna begging. handle that you were begging later. For it. We're gonna handle yeah. that at the end of the yeah. episode probably, and I'll get a timer going so that. But we I know knew you guys were begging for it. You know, yeah, in the everybody wants a Comic Sans. Comic Sans. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's like crazy. crazy. So we crazy haven't we had any episodes, oh, so that's not. God. I think we should do introductions. Yeah, all right, no, introductions. You guys start. All right, all right. Well, Where's my fonts? Me or you oh, are? Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I am a font smith. Uh, my name is Dill. Yeah. Uh, or AKA. Hold on. Uh, oof, sorry. Don't. Sorry. Just... <laughs> AKA Dad. D dot A dot D. Uh, or Daddy <laughs> for those who are for the for the ladies. Woo, woo. All right, whoop whoop, raise the roof. Right. And I've been into into font since you know, the day I came out the womb. Yeah. You know I mean, gotcha. You know, the day I ripped off my own umbilical cord, I was yeah. typing. <laughs> yeah. I, was typing, I right? uh, I'm Jerry. I'm I've been friends with this cat since uh, about fourth grade, and that's also about the same time I got into fonts. I was always making. Whenever we'd have a paper assignment, yeah, my favorite part would be choosing which font to go in because in elementary school they don't they don't restrict you at all. So I oh, would be like, if we were writing a horror yeah. story, you know, I got that that which one was it cracked or something? Cracked, which is the one that looks yeah. like it's where it's like cracked. Yeah, where it's cracked. Yeah, 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 it's exactly like, oh, right. this is gonna be a horror story. It's got like the yeah, yeah. It's got that scary kind of look. It's like mm -hmm. okay, I'm reading a horror story. With this I'm reading horror. a horror film. Any yeah. any creepy pasta is gonna have a header in that font. In that right? font, oh, yeah. that's exactly. It's gonna be that's white on black or red on black. That's the font. Don't get too far. Introduce yourself. Sorry, I am Jimmy, Jimmy G. <laughs> my brother call me. I'm gonna admit it. I got into fonts later in the game. Only within the last couple of months have I really started getting to know the culture because I didn't know how much of a subculture fonts had. I always no, remembered no. my favorite parts of advertisements. I remember. What do I remember? How those letters look, bud. That's true. Yeah. And without further ado, let's get started. Let's hit it. Okay. Um, I've got an interesting fact about today. Did right. you know this is not made up? Okay. <laughs> Did you know that today is Nelson Mandela's birthday? Today oh. is the... It is actually his birthday. He's born 1918. The 18th. Wow. The 18th. June yeah, 18th? June 18th. Na July 18th. July 18th, 1918. Nelson Mandela was born. Uh, Nelson, rest yes. in peace. My also, grandfather met Nelson Mandela. Did he? Yes. That is Otto Kusama. Today is also Richard Branson's birthday. Virgin what? Tycoon Richard, Richard Branson was born Branson. today. This is wild. But it's actually kind of interesting, right? They, and yeah, would you say that Virgin... Birthdays. Would you say that Virgin Mobile invented that little virgin font themselves. Oh, that, that is font. the virgin font. Yeah, yeah they, they've yeah. got the, the swoop, they that's like virgin font. airline. They're They're virgin virginity font. font. Well, you could say that they are virgins. <laughs> in a way. No. <laughs> <laughs> that they, <laughs> they pop the cherry on that font. Because they were the first they were oh, the first oh, to use it. Oh, Demonetized. Yeah. Okay. Oh, All right. Well, man. you kick us off. What's your what first Okay, font? the first font I want to hit up is called Algerian. I'm hoping we can get that somewhere here. Algerian. Here, here. Algerian. Somewhere. Algerian. Go so, into it a bit. Go into Algerian. It. I didn't read too, up too much on the history my, of Algerian, no, but I can tell you the way it makes me feel Goodness. is it makes me feel a little bit cultured, a little bit like I'm taking a journey. If something's written in Algerian, I'm going to be learning about something I didn't know about before. Oh, so yeah. it's got... It's dimensional. It's got that kind of, uh, you know, on the right side, Ooh, like kind of the it. edging. I really like um, that. It's yeah. got yeah. the strongest serif in the word Algerian, I would say, is on the R. Oh, Sorry, not the R. The, the A. a. The, yeah, way that, yeah. the way that the cross is actually peaked. It, it, like, it it's got a widow's a. peak. Yeah, that's almost thing. a 90 degree. Wow. Yeah. yeah, at least a 45. It's got a, it's got mm -hmm. a You can check. There. We'll put an A up on the screen for yeah. you to take a look at Algerian A. So you can yeah. see the peak in HD. And the G, it actually curls up. 
inside oh, at the end oh, there. Wow. See that? It wow. almost looks like when you turn it this way, it almost looks like a musical note. Oh, oh I think that's oh, kind of that's fun. That's actually, hold that up to the camera, show okay. that one. It looks like you got yourself an eighth note there. Yeah. Wow. Uh, get it real close. Yeah, that okay. is good. Get it real close up in there. That is Let good. me make sure it's focused. Algeria? Let me make sure it's focused. Yeah, make sure. You don't want them missing it. You don't want them missing a detail on that G. Yeah, yeah, you see that? That G looks like a wow. musical note. Yeah. 1080p, Definitely you can 16, see that G. All right. All right. A 1080p I G. thought wow. there's a lot of story to each letter there. Someone took time for each letter. They wanted to tell oh, a little bit. I think you're story. exactly right. Every letter's wow. got a journey in Algerian. Shall I do my first, or would you care wow. to go next? Uh, you, I mean, we could just go. You go All right, first, yeah. so my first font here. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything. So uh -oh. let me... Yeah. My Watch first out. font... Helvet Helvetica. Helvetica. Everybody knows it. Not everybody uses it. The default. Well, <laughs> oh. default. Excuse me. Um, Helvetica. That's good. A, a little bit of fun facts about it. It was invented in 1957 in Sweden. Really? You know the Swiss. Sweden. Swiss. That's Switzerland. The Swiss, Swiss are from Switzerland. Are from Switzerland. They got the, good the Swedes are from Sweden. Yeah. Oh my God. In Switzerland. Excuse me. Yeah. In Switzerland, it was invented in 1957, and he, I believe, oh, yes. I forget the name of the gentleman that invented it. Let me just check <laughs> real quick. We're going to fact check it. Okay. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe in, in miracles. miracles. Okay, Max, <laughs> Max Meedinger, very Swiss. Meedinger? Uh, and Mid Edward Hoffman. He had some insight from wow. Edward Hoffman. Good invented. Guys. Um, guys. Invented Helvetica, <laughs> and this, I believe, I also want to fact check, was the first sans serif font. Yeah. Go into a bit about what sans serif okay. is. Okay. So I actually learned about what serifs are. Should I say the? It's it's a bit of a goofy reason that I know what a serif is. Should go I go about it? it? So Phineas and Ferb, right? Uh, Doctor Doofenshmirtz is talking about fonts in some way. He really was. Oh, he was wow. talking about serifs on letters and serifs are the little accents on the edges and fringes, kind of like what I was showing you there, like that wow. G musical note, that's a serif. The, the widow's peak and the A, that's a serif. And, you know, Times New Roman, we know that's a more serif heavy font in one of the main oh. fonts. And so, sans serif means it has no serifs. It means it's simple and it's a stark lettering system. Wow. So you're saying that Helvetica was pioneered the sans serif. And family. I was completely wrong. Is that so? Yeah, 1957, I said. I was blown out of the water just now. Hang on. The first... Sorry about that. Oh, it's an emergency. Getting closer. You know, the world... Whose idea was it to record outside? Um, I don't know. Hey, you know, sometimes you got to know that the world is not all about fonts. Yeah. It's about sometimes. fires. But today so, it is, right? But today it today is. Today it is. And so, the first sans serif font, oh, wow. that is a font without the little... Uh, extra extra stuff superfluous, there. Uh, it looked a little bit like this, kay. right? There you go. That's a little uh, sample, and that was in guess what year? Or did you see? I didn't see. I'm gonna guess, guess 1920. Okay, and your guess? Uh, 1930. 1816. Oh! 1816. Over a hundred years wow. before World War One oh, ended. Oh, hang on, they're coming back. Oh, I think they're doing rounds. I think it's a it's a font emergency. Yeah, it is. Is we there any other kind? <laughs> you were saying? So yeah, first sans serif font, 1816. 1816. Oh, who invented it? I should give him some props. Was it not Hall Adrian not Frutiger? Adrian oh, Frutiger. Frutiger. Okay, and that's actually a really that's a that's a clean. I like the J. It's a strong it font. A peak wow. There. Wow. It's probably named after him. You can check that. All right. Yeah. So Helvetica was my first. Another fun fact about it: if you've ever been on the DC Metro, you've seen Helvetica on all of their oh, signs. Is that so? And they you... use Helvetica because of its legibility. Because gotcha. it doesn't have the serifs, yeah. so you can yeah. see it from far away. You gotta get to your well, job. You gotta get, you gotta get to Foggy Bottom, my favorite Foggy, place yeah. on the DC Metro Circle. Uh, Foggy Bottom. Foggy, Foggy Bottom. bottom. Can't yes. wait to hear him announce Almost that. Almost re reminiscent of Bikini Bottom. Hey! Which is also a good font. Yeah. Good one. All right. They actually and summed up as a strong font. Yeah, I, was, I was in the in the metro. I think, oh, what's that font? And it's Alvedica, right? Yep, they hit her. <laughs> Your first font? Uh, My first font. Where do I begin? Ariel. <laughs> oh, my God. A classic. Ariel, <laughs> get in here. Uh, or are we talking about... Secretary. We're talking about the font. Oh, we're talking about the font. I, I thought we were calling Ariel no, in no, for this no, one. No, 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 no. Go back, where I, Ariel. Where do I begin? A uh, classic black gets to the point. Uh, yeah. Streamlined design that'll make any font smith cream their jeans. Is that so? <laughs> is that on the Wikipedia? Page? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Is that but where I they? Believe. This is on the wiki. 
<laughs> I believe the font. Yes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Arial is the default font on Google Docs. Is that ah, so? Ah, yes. So Googs. Mr. Gug himself. I uh, looked that Gug up. L. Yeah, Gug L himself. <laughs> Gug um, L. Yeah, we can put that on the screen. Gug L. Gug uh, L. Gug L. And, dot um, com. Yeah. So Gug, we'll get his bust in Gug here. L. Yeah. Dot com. So that, they, they love that font. And yep. it is also the primary font for clothing brand Dad. D. Is dot that? A. D. Look at that. Which you can purchase Small through Instagram world. at DDMs or Shameless on plug. social media. <laughs> we will just get wow. him here. We'll yeah. get him cut here. That there. No, no, here. no, we will not. But going further on Ariel, yes. So if you are a font smith and you are just like one, you're hungry for a new font, Ariel is a good place to start. You know, I, I'm not lying when I say you will cream your jeans. Is that so? Hey, it is a guarantee or your money. F oh, I'm not wearing jeans. Don't oh. worry about it. I don't have the right friction. Yeah, you don't cream got the that. floor. Cream oh, the boy. floor. Oh, we're gonna get to All right, them off. your second font. My second today. font is gonna be somebody with a little bit of numerical uh, tinge here. It's called Bow House. You call that Bow House. What do you think? That's a Bow House. Bow House. Bow, I was, okay, Bow actually, House, you know what? You're right. House. Probably Bow, Bow House. House, especially because House in Bow House. Sorry, I'll do the same thing for no spoilers. Oh, you don't want to see that. Bauhaus, yeah. spelled with the German Now, house. you're going to have to hold there. it right yeah. in front of the lens yeah. in order to do that, Bauhaus. which I don't suggest doing because yeah. uh, it will be out of focus anyway. Okay. But we'll so, just pop so it up. We'll pop it up on the screen. Yeah. yeah. So Bauhaus 93. Oh. Um, it's a little bit thicker. It's in the family of uh, the naturally bolded fonts, which was pioneered by my third um, font here, but we'll get into that later. Oh. But, um, Hello. Yeah. Bauhaus 93. It's got a bit of a got a bit of a diner feel. If you if you see, oh, what, I'm, yeah. see what I'm talking about there, it okay, feels like it's yeah. in a diner. It's oh, I see. With the little, was, yeah. you can see that neon. I yeah, get a, I get yeah. A fat stack of yeah. cake to some Bauhaus. Yeah. Bauhaus 93. Yeah. Bauhaus 93. Um, fun fact: I am considering making that my new Friendster username. Oh, you're not new off. username alert. Yeah, can we can we get the user <laughs> new username alert? <laughs> <laughs> username alert. Username alert. There she goes. There she goes. And here there she comes. comes. There, there she comes. comes. And there, there she goes. goes. There, there she goes. goes. And What's your next font? My next font is stencil. Oh, oh stencil watch font. It. Possibly my favorite font to use throughout elementary school on those wacky papers wacky. is stencil. And I believe there was an original font named stencil STD. Oh. Excuse me. Uh oh. Yeah, but I'm now realizing <laughs> hard for the first time in my life Stencil that STD. they share an acronym. But I yeah. believe there's a font called Stencil STD. It might have been an abbreviation for uh -oh. something like standard, perhaps, yeah. or something STD like standard, that. Probably. Yeah. Probably STD standard. No, Stencil standard. No. And so everybody knows what it looks like. It's that big blocky. What you use to spray paint things, you see them on shipping yeah. containers. Anything military. Yeah. Yeah. Military. military. A lot of military. Crates. That's oh. why I used it. Um, hey, because hey, it, it know, commanded salute, respect. Salute, salute, to salute. Stencil. salute That's to right. Stencil. So stencil, I would always change the font color to a red solo cup, yeah. bright red, bright. and use the stencil right. to get some respect. Uh, I'm not sure about the history of Cheers. it. I think we just lost the video there. Is that so? Is that for real? But that's okay. We can we can bring it back. <laughs> bring it back now, y'all. Sorry, folks. Slide to the left. All right. Uh, lost a little bit of video. Slide to the on. right. Who lost a little bit of video, where? but from that's where? a good thing is that the audio is still going. Let me double check that. From where? Where are we sliding from? Uh, yeah. Where are we? Um, I just say within your own position. Slide. Oh, uh, no, to the I'm left. not the slide. Where did oh, we? Oh, where did we lose <laughs> the video? Yeah, the video. We're still going. Yeah, We're good. I, mean, oh, I, I thought you meant. I wonder about where we slide. Yeah. To, but, uh, all right, so sorry about that, folks. Sorry about that. We lost the video for a second. That mm -hmm. will probably happen again. Ah, um, so and we'll sorry. try to just cut that. So next time we'll cut it so that you don't cut have to deal cheese. with any cut the cheese. dead cut the video. Cheese. So, yes, yeah, stencil. I don't have a lot of um, history. history about it, like I said, but I'm sure that you all have some. Leave it in the comments, comments below, below your favorite use of stencil in yeah. real life. You recognize crazy, it. You recognize crazy, stencil from anything crazy. specific. Do you have a stencil... Of a, of a memory of a memory that we can Ooh. spray in the the cracks. Oh a stencil of a memory God. and a memory of stencil. Oh. Hey. hey, you're not gonna forget this font. You're not gonna forget this. It, that's no. true. It's yeah. a very unforgettable font. It's Don't memorable. Forget. You see it one time and it's ingrained because you've seen it in real life. See you might not know the name. Okay, stencil. Yeah, there's stencil. It's stencil. Stencil. There. That's she's there. Stencil. Stencil. It's been locked in. Yeah, right? exactly right. Sleeps in an egg. Two. 
One stencil. 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 Right. All right. All right. You're right. next. Paul. Okay. Uh, my next one's a more of a, a, a custom uh, font that I found online. It's called Sapphire Sativa. Whoa! So, that uh, sounds like, like a so strain so of. For all my rippers and smoker boys and smoker <laughs> girls, if you ever had to write up. a paper. And you're also a stoner. Yeah? This Do you have is, a picture of this one? Uh, right, let me get that. Uh, I right, gotta about, know. You keep going, I'll yeah. search it. Yeah, Sapphire Satya. So it's, uh, yeah, of course you're gonna take a rip with a, <coughs> the bong, and it's like, ah, oh, Mr. Grunsky has to make me write a paper, Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know, Grunsky's <laughs> always in you with Everybody the essay question. Everybody has that sort of, that time where Mr. Grunsky's like, hey, 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 Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He'll this force font, you this font me. tries so hard. There's a little bit of weed leaves in there, yeah? Wow. It's just yeah, that. It's just a view. That looks like a sticker pack. It does. You know what I mean? Like, you would peel those off and write mm. your name in those. One thing I will notice mm -hmm. and give respect to, if mm -hmm. you look at, um, again, we'll have this across the yes. screen. If you're looking at the O's, the G's, the Q's, the R's, in the curved part of the letter, they do, in fact, curve the leaves. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. You see these yeah. are straight. Those yeah, are curved. Nice. Yes. So you know what? At that first I thought it was detail. pretty lazy. It was very easy. No, just they with know the serif. Exactly what they're doing. <coughs> Excuse me. But it turns out that they actually have an eye for uh, utility and practicality with and, a little bit of flair. And yeah. let me tell you something. They were probably on some sativa when they were making The time they were designing okay, it, the absolutely. Like they probably have a couple versions yeah. of that. Oh. oh, and where's Mr. Grinsky now? He doesn't have yeah. a font. Grinsky's not blowing up for his font. Yeah, really. Grinsky's sitting in the past. He's sitting in the past, sitting on his ass. Yeah, All right. as they say. And, you know, so if you are a little stoner, and you're a little, you want to do a little ripping and ripping and dipping, and you want to, but you got to write a paper, right? Oh, uh, Mr. I mean, Mr. Grunsky. <laughs> Grunsky. Hey, come on, you gotta Mr. Some... Grunsky, I don't want to write your paper yeah. on hey, uh, hey, hey. courts. Hey, I gotta, I gotta, gotta write a paper on the World War II. Oh, hey, no, Mr. Grunsky, I want to spark a joint in the wow. men's locker room. Wow. Puff, puff, pass it. Wow. And that's how Mr. Grunsky. He's dead. Yeah. He's dead. <laughs> he did die two years ago, didn't he? Ooh, rest in peace, Mr. Grunsky. Yeah. You were a jerk. Your My next font. font. <laughs> Your third font. Whoa. Can't. Careful. You want to bury the lead here. Now, this. Okay, I got to say, this is a Titan. This uh, is a Titan of the fonts. Everybody right, knows this guy. Titan T I G H T E N. The first time. T I G H T E N. T I T A N. A big one. The first time. You wanted to yell in text. You know you used impact. Oh, you know yeah, you were using yeah, impact. A round of applause for impact. A round of applause for impact. Yeah, we had a little hey, match. Sure. Hey, the only hey. reason I didn't have impact on my list was because I saw it on his. Yeah. So all three of us have. Let's throw some respect on impact. impact. Respect mm. on impact. And the impact it's had on our lives. Oh my God! Whoa. If you would have like boom. Boom! It's that kind of fun, right? It's like you come. It is. It's like it's like oh, you're sitting out good, and then all of a sudden, boom! And yeah, impact. and that's you know the, that's I mean? the I believe. Right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh huh. Impact is also the default meme font, is it not? Ooh. I believe could, it, it could, is. Top text, bottom text, I believe is written in. I believe right. that's impact, impact. Impact font. Yeah. It's if not a cousin. Our lives. Yeah. Impact. It's got and. And impact really is. Do, would you agree when I say it is a pillar of the font family? Mm. It is a pillar of the font family. Impact it really, is remembered. It's simple. You're not going. Sapphire Sativa has yes, its place, it has but its, it's place. a little flair. It's, it's a, a little, little flair. It's, it's a little flair. out it's there. A it's, a little it's a niche. It's a niche. It's a niche market. The, it's for the stone or something. That would be on maybe a menu. Yep. I could see that being on a yeah, menu yeah, at a yeah. place that's right next to a glass shop. Yeah. Something like that, or yeah. perhaps in the glass shop. Or in. They have their things labeled that way. food, little munchos to the side. That's right. That would be a good. Business, a good font yeah. exactly for that purpose. Yes, exactly yes. Right. Um, my third font. If you weren't, were you I am. I am complete. I just need that to is like a font. All right. Like if you're Respect writing a paper impact. about like you know hitting kids, right? That's yeah. the one. <laughs> my third font. <laughs> my third font is um, probably lesser known and lesser used. That's only my opinion. Elephant. Elephant. Mm, Elephant Fonte. font. We'll pop that. I don't know why I keep trying to show the camera. They won't be able to see. <laughs> we'll pop it up on the screen. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elephant font. Um, again, it seems to be a big. I'd see this like a big sign font. What do you think, right? I big almost sign? see elephant being used. 
I might be on this on a church sign, maybe. Oh. I... Is that totally I, outside? The it's I could not. See a I church. do see what you mean. I could see a church. Um, I'm gonna do a quick search on on, a, on why it's called elephant. Elephant, yeah. Because elephant. of all the fonts we've seen, even of the ones we've discussed today, it's not the largest. Yeah. So and why would they call none it? None of them are animals. That's true. That's Not actually. You know what? Is, is there a mainstream font that writes completely using animals? Not mainstream, because I would be able to name it. Like yes. A is made out of alligators. B is made out of bees. 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 You gotta go. Yeah. Into, yeah. You, gotta go bees. yeah you could have a joke in there. Bees yeah. that look like little letter bees, little making bees. up the letter B. Yes. Oh. Beeceptions. Okay. Good. So it's an ultra bold serif typeface intended for display use. Like I said, you'd see it on a sign. We all agreed that we'd Church. see it on a sign. For displays. Designed as a digital font by British font designer Matthew Carter. Elephant is a fat face design. Inspired <laughs> oh, by yeah. fonts. I know a couple of fat face designs in my life. Hey! Hey! hey. Come on. Elephant. Yeah. Inspired Mr. by Gretzky. fonts. Mr. Gretzky's inspired by fat face. fonts <laughs> intended for use for posters developed by Vincent Figgins in Ooh. London in the early hey, 19th the century. So another... 1800s font, early yeah. 19th century. I wonder when was the big font boom? Probably uh, around the typewriter was. You know invented. what? You're right. As soon as they were, well, I don't as soon know, as there was typing. They had courier. That was a lot of the, what everybody was using. Yeah. And courier was the only. Courier, one. courier, 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 courier. I, I think it was courier. made the list. That almost made the list. For yeah. That was that's the there's the that's American a, typeface. And, and we know that um wait like, what the gothic font. And, um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh -oh. It says, inspired by fonts intended for... Oh, 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 oh. Elephant font came out in 1992. Okay. But it was inspired by fonts that were used in posters in the 19th century. Ah. So it was inspired okay. by fonts that were already being used. Oh, okay. I, was, I was scared. I was very yeah. thrown there. I was, I was a little thrown off there. All right. I thought I you got afraid. some bad news. Yeah, I thought... We All right, were well... There's that. You know I, I, mean. I don't know where I was going. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's <laughs> Elephant Font. Your okay. Third. Next one. Uh, it's kind of fun. It's kind of like, uh, it's uh, O-C-R-A-S-T-D. And I'm not talking about the sexual disease. O -C -R -A. Oh, yeah. O-C-R-A. It's, it's like Oprah. one of the, look, look, at the, look it up on your phone. It's like one of those ones where it's like, it looks like a, a text. Like a textual... Like a text those message? Digital ones? Yeah, like a, you'll watch. It looks oh, like, one of those, like a digi. A yeah, digi like, a style. Dig, like a digi style. Okra STD. No, font. you're look, okra. You're looking at okra. Oh, 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 I see. You know what I'm talking like about. This is what's Dodge right? prompter. Perhaps yeah. the beginning of like, Kids Next Door. Yeah, That's I feel like I'm, I'm typing in the Matrix. Like, do 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 yeah. do. Welcome to the Matrix. I feel like a nigga Neo. <laughs> <laughs> find in a DOS prompter <laughs> in the Matrix. Yes, yes, it's a, oh. uh, uh, yeah, oh. uh, um, I think that's enough said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, go, go. All right, so. Good next font. Oh this my This next God. one is a little more thematic. Okay. I'm not going to do the folding. You know what I'm trying to do there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, it's going to be Broadway. Oh, Broadway. Hello. Broadway. You almost put that, that one. Almost put that one on. Now, a strong place that you can find Broadway used a lot East. is in a chorus line. Oh. I believe the title is written in the Broadway font, both mm. on the disc, and it was originally produced on a kiosk written in the Broadway font. Wow. Mm. It's explosive, it's powerful, it gets people's attention. Wow, wow, wow. What kind of Broadway? Right? Exactly right. There's a lot of thick. 
It's 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 got kind of this it's a um, power. It's a big. It's like thick one of to fat thin cats. kind of thing. You thick see the left thin. side yeah. is the yeah. thickest, and it's thin on the that right. Represents mm. thick the thin. actresses and their husbands. Yeah, thick oh. and thin. Oh. They got a nice little dame thick up on the screen, thin. and then big old cigar boy, her manager, hey. maybe her husband. Whoa, Ooh, fat you, cat. You don't know if he's getting a little bit of meat on the side. Yep, you don't know it. <laughs> 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 My next font is, yes. uh, if you thought Impact was a Titan, I believe this birthed the other Titans. Is that this so? is the king or Impact. queen of fonts. Would you even say maybe the emperor? I don't know. Oh, you could say you emperor. know where I'm. One going might with say that. it's the emperor. Uh, One would say the emperor of an empire, perhaps the Holy uh, Roman I Empire. Think I know where this is Times going. New Roman, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I don't need to put Time. it on the screen. If you Classic. don't know what it looks like, you Get come to f out of here. Out of here. Just kill <laughs> <you>. <laughs> right? Or if you don't know, know what it looks that. like. You can stay. Give it a check. Oh. Give it a check it out. You haven't typed a f***ing paper in your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spit take alarm. Whoa. <laughs> Why would I go to drink? Times New Roman yeah. commands respect from every other font. Uh, I don't know when it was invented. Let's give it a check. I should have done my research, but I, think I it figured. It was the Roman Empire when they started typing. Yeah, when they invented the typewriter yeah, and the computer. They, yeah. Times New they Roman. Were the ones. Mm -hmm. Times New Roman. I'm wondering, what's the story behind the name? Why is it Roman. Times New Roman? New Roman. Let's I'm check wondering it out. if the New York Times is connected to it. Oh. Perhaps. Times. Serif typeface designed in. A British newspaper, The Times, oh, in the 1931 Times. and conceived by Stanley Morrison, the artistic advisor to the British branch of the printing equipment company Monotype, in collaboration with Victor Larden, a lettering artist in the Times advertising department. Although no longer used by The Times, Times New Roman is still very common in book and general printing. It has become one of the most popular and influential typefaces in history and a standard typeface on most desktop computers. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give one more round of applause. Wow. Times, Times New Roman. Times Roman. New Roman. Oh. And I will say not cheers. as old cheers, as I cheers, thought it would have been. Uh, Eye contact. Uh, cheers. Here. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Go. Oh, meet, me. meet me in the eyes. Here uh, we go. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. All right, and up we go. Ah. Very nice. Ah. Doesn't get any easier. Uh. All right, your next font. All your right, next, Papa. Uh, my next font. Uh, uh, Biner Hand, ITC. Give it to us one more time. Viner Hand. Viner. I, Viner. Yeah, it has a little bit of curve on it. I don't yeah. know if you want to look it up. I or will. You go into yeah. that. Very uh, good. Created uh, by Viners for Viners. A digital Fubu. Yeah. Just up with a Vine Leet. Is or that should so? I say a Vubu? Um, for, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, oh. for us, by us. Made yeah, by yeah, yeah. Viners I would go as for, for, it's as obnoxious as Viners. <laughs> oh. That's a pretty loud font. That is it's a loud, loud font. And it's loud, and it's created by Viners. We'll put it across there. Yeah, wow. It's Viner, I think I'll have you. to just, I'll just put an image of the whole alphabet, because you can really take it in. Yeah. If I just put a sample, it won't be enough, but it's really, wow. It is, it is wow. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, when I did uh, cool make vines, it was uh, it would be a great font. It, I found it to be great. It got the point across, and uh, uh, then the vine died, and so it did. Uh, and with it, the font. So did my soul. However, I'm gonna just take a gander. No, I. Why did Hang on. vine? Yeah. Why did you need to go? Right? <laughs> Am I right? Should we all take a moment? I feel like a moment of silence is in order. Seven seconds of silence. Yeah, now, seven now seconds. I wasn't out. on it all the time, but it was still when it was around. It would bring me joy, bring yeah. me happiness. And now what? You're despicable. What, what do we got to huh? smell? Okay, okay, right. Okay, I mean, okay. like you go to the in the font, hub, in the and you see in that. the font, <laughs> in the font, you can see that they have three different A's. They have the capital A, which is of the vine mm -hmm. font there, but then they also have two other A's oh, with little, little hacks, with little accents. They've got hats. Yeah. And then they do the same for the lowercase. Yeah, it's fun. And I don't know what that 
What is that? What are we looking at? What, what is looking that? Looking that? Is that a... That looks like the ampersand. Oh, I believe that's an ampersand. But uh, does the ampersand mean? come before one, two, and three? That's just an interesting placement. Yeah. It goes A with the chicka, A with the orb, and then a with ampersand. The what was the first thing? You said chicka A what? with the chicka. Hey, chicka what? Hey, nit, hey, what? Chicka, chicka. Hey, chicka, what? What, what? So, What's up, my chicka? your next mm. font. All right, guys. I don't... I don't want to set us all up to uh, fall down here, but I've got one of the most. Oh, is this your fun? This is your final font. This, this is my final, final font. Was, yeah, it's the final Fantasia. Final font. Uh, what's give me another frontier? Final font. Final, well, frontier. final frontier. Front, 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 final frontier. Final frontier. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, guys, my next font. Excuse me. That's still recording, right? Good question. Um, check that. Don't, no, don't climb over it. It's not. <laughs> How long is it not? I don't know. Ah! It's okay. It's okay. We've got the audio. So we lost the video for a while there. Didn't know how, uh, don't know how long that was. For our watchers. It's all right. But know. we'll, uh, we'll still have the font displays. It's oh, okay. yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, We're not even playing the, the camera audio. here. So yeah. it's good, it's good. Camera's it's not good. important. So my final font here. I'm really going to need you all to sit down for this. Oh, okay. Oof. Wingdings. Oh, my classic. Wingdings. Yeah, yeah. That, wingdings. Is a, that is All a right. wild one. Now, Wingdings has got a very, very interesting, not as much history, but series of events following Wingdings. Okay. I think you might know at least one that I'm talking about. One of the first <clears throat> was when one would type NYC in capital letters, this was very, very controversial, and they actually had to oh. change the Wingdings uh, program because Wingdings, as I hope everybody knows, is a series of seemingly random images. They've got mm. things from the, the Celtic cross yeah. to uh, astrological signs to just a big old square yeah. is that or, or, cancer? or a which, rhombus. Which I believe that? Um, that I don't know. That is uh, I, maybe? I'm not I'm not well versed in them. But when one would type NYC, it would give you we might put it on the screen here, a skull and crossbones, a star of David, and a thumbs up. Mm. Oh very wow. edgy. Very oh, wow. frightening uh -oh. for those the first time they yeah. saw it. They had to revamp the Wingding so system. So they typed New York City, yeah. where there are a NYC. lot of Jews. Yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. Jewish lot of Jews in New York. Jerry Seinfeld, Larry David, New York Jews. Uh, the Jews Broadway is there. Yeah. Broadway. You so can't succeed on Broadway if you don't have any. Lachayim. So, yeah, Lachayim. So Lachayim. an interesting thing they actually change it to N is now an eyeball. Y I don't know if it is if it has since been revamped again because there are a few more things. N is um, an eyeball, Y is a heart, and C is a cityscape. So, I heart, I heart New, New York, York City. Uh, that's, that's see, big now big. that is political correctness, however you land with it. That was a thing that I would imagine would scare some people. Probably just a coincidence. Still a little bit. And the fact that Wingdings is already supposed to be random means that it's okay that they changed and they changed it to something that's really heartwarming and really sweet, and I think Amen. that deserves Wingdings. an applause for Wingdings Amen. for bringing a smile to Hallelujah. people's faces Hallelujah. from the fear. Wingdings. Now, we got two more Wingding moments. Such hey, as you're that. a little f***ing Wingding, huh? Yeah. What's up, huh? I'm bleeping all of that. Yeah. No! Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah I, I think it would be better for those moments to be okay. censored. Yeah, maybe censor them. So, Continue with your Wingdings uh, um, bonanza. <sighs> Whoa. All right, so... If anybody remember, does anybody is anybody aware of Nostradamus? The oh, uh, we know no guy of Nostradamus. No. Nostradamus. No, he no. was one of those guys, one of those prophet sort of dudes who tries to predict. The future. You know, he throws out some. Oh yes, yes I know him. There's a lot of videos, yeah. a lot of slideshow videos. A lot on of YouTube. craziness. I don't know the truth behind any of that. Predicted a lot of things apparently. Yeah. But so yeah, kind of like the, he's like the first Simpson. A lot of people used his teachings in com in conjunction with wingdings to try to find things. Wow. So. Uh, when one would type, if uh, does anybody remember a little something called Y two K? We all remember Y two K. The end of the world. The end of the Planes world. are gonna crash. Computers are going to turn against Die. us. Straight up. Dead. So when one would type the word millennium, you would get as follows: a bomb with a fuse. Here we can look at it right here. Oh my goodness. A a a cross, a hand, two skull and crossbones, a the pointing L's? finger. Oh. Two sad Bad faces, a hand, and another bomb. Oh my so a lot of people were looking at this and saying, like, uh, it's all going to blow up. Pray to your God. 
hands to Jesus, stuff like that. Oh, made some people you're real dead, uncomfortable. You're dead, yeah. Freak some people out. You're gonna be sad. I, they didn't change anything for that one. Right. That was because, that yeah. wasn't a real issue. Yeah. Social issue. Yeah, because it's just a little wow. bit of, little little bit bit of heresy. Yeah. Having it bordered by two bombs made it a little bit interesting. Like the fuse a little bit. Yeah, because of the M's, a of the M's, the M's yeah. millennium. Together, yeah. But the third one, I think everybody heard about this one. But this one has got a little bit of a little bit of fibbage in there. A little bit of Someone fibbed. So uh, liar uh, alarm. You don't like that. There fib. was a third, and there have been many others, but this big event with Wingdings was the 9-11. Ooh. Wingdings oh code. Oh dear. Whoa. Because someone posted a little old video on the 2U saying, hey, if you type Q33NY into Wingdings, you will get this. We'll show you what it is right there. Uh -huh. And it was a plane image, oh, two no. things that seemed to look sort of like towers. Twitter. They were identical because oh, no. the 33. Yeah. And then NY was a another star, David, and that's going crossbones. Remember the NYC? Mm. That was before that initial change. Oh, before the change. Yeah. yeah, so it looked like plane flying into two twin uh, blocks, and then Jews. But and it Skull wasn't the Jews. Here's the fibbage. That's what the Jews had nothing to do with that. Q thirty three NY is nothing. That relates yeah. not to a single yeah. plane. Yeah, I was going to no say no code. What is Q thirty three? Q thirty three NY was nothing. Wow. So that was somebody wow. looking to create madness. Someone wanted to Which one is Something the plane? Which one looks like a block? Some. And they uh, just. Uh, some. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Some rat. Some rat in the system. Some rat. So that is my third and final. But nowadays, Wingdings is cooled down. You can have some fun. Sorry? Uh, <laughs> oh. You can have fun with Wingdings. You can, you can mess around and see, oh, what's my name in Wingdings? Maybe use it as a secret code for your friends. It's a hoot and a half. A hoot and one half. Oh yeah. My final font, show card gothic. Oh. Another fat faced. Gothic. Uh, sans serif. Whoa. What? We got a splash. Another splash fat down. faced. Another fat faced font. <laughs> uh, fun face. to say. Easy to read. Ish. I don't know how it would be from far away. Some things might look similar. Very blocky. Probably uses a lot of ink from your printer. Yeah. Uh. Don't, write don't have much it. to say about it. It looks a little spooky with the O's. Oh, yeah. That might just be me thinking gothic, yeah. cathedrals, yeah, and then spooky. That, yeah. But the the O's, you can see boo written in this font and look rather nice. Scary, yeah. yeah, boo. But you know what? Boo. This font actually makes me think of the most. Any farm RPG game online. Oh, yeah. Wow, wow a lot yeah. of thick block if I see signs this in green, green, Facebook, they're green inviting and yellow. You. Yep. Yeah, inviting you farm to play. Farmville. Yeah. Bo Bobby, like Bobby, uh... Bobby Jenkins wants to play yeah, a bit Bobby, of Bobby, Bobby Boo Boo. Bobby Jenkins needs Bobby help Boo. watering his plants. Yeah, Bobby yep. Boo Boo Send wants him you to some come. Play some fair oh, he wants you to come. <laughs> and that's all from my list of five. And uh, my last one, uh, he had mentioned it before, but it is also impact. You know, it's a oh, wow. boom kind of one. If you want to impact, uh, if you want to make an impact, this is the font. All right? Like, like, like I said, if you want to make like a PowerPoint. Let's keep it on, on short, because we did already touch on this one. You're right, you're but right. any hey. new information. All right, like if you want to like, you know, make a PowerPoint on like, boom, I want to hit a kid, right? Yeah. We did go over that. Yeah, well, I didn't feel like. <laughs> <laughs> we, we spent the necessary into time. Detail. You had prepared yeah. more. All right, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. It's all right. So it was like, if you want to make a PowerPoint on that, like it's like. Oh, on what again? What was on it? The, like hitting the kids. You know, just like kids like, plural now. Yeah, like multiple. It was a kid first. It was a kid, but now it's multiple kids. Repeat and offender. So it's just like, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, like it's mm -hmm. that kind of fun. Yeah, that's pretty much it. On <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much yeah. It on that. Yeah. Uh, all right, so those are our five fonts, and now, as promised, on three, Comic Sans. One, two. Three. Comic Sans! Sans! Now this font Sucks. is ass. Where are you going to go oh, yeah. when you're writing in Comic Sans? You're going to be a kindergarten Sans. teacher. You're going to be a kindergarten with teacher. all those sticky it kids. The trash. It's, I, to be fair, it pisses me off always. Uh, yeah. That's putting yeah, it lightly. Yeah, That's putting, putting it lightly, lightly putting for me. It. I see it. I'm infuriated. Is that, is that font? Like, who put, who, who put... Who what I want to know is, is that that a got it. Who, got it. who pro, who pl who placed oh. that in a computer okay? for it yeah. to come out? Come it looks like it who was is written the in teacher? crayon. Yeah. Crayola, the font, the font of Crayola. Yeah. 
is better than that, and Crayola's font is only good for writing the word I'm Crayola. Smashing. I'm gonna get on your back here with that one. I wanna Do know it. who the teacher was that wrote that on a chalkboard, because you know no little kid's writing in it. No, no little kid was able to. Like, like that's my comic sense. No. This was an adult built this to, to, to convey something, to, to, tell, to tell a story, to tell some fucking joke, to tell someone something in joke. comic sense. That. <sighs> to tell some comic book joke. fonts. Comic book fonts are cool. They're unique, and each comic. I was in a phase where I was researching all this stuff, and I watched a video on it where each font, uh, excuse me, each author of comics would have their own styles. You'd see some would leave more space in the A, yeah. some would write letters together, like if a T was next to um, perhaps another T, some would cross them individually, some would put them together. A lot of cool, unique little things like that. Mm -hmm. um, we can put the link to that video in the description mm -hmm. about this comic book yeah. era of fonts. Comic Sans, however, completely ruins that by making it a predetermined amount of uniqueness, right? They tried to encapsulate that. I imagine that's what they were going for, the comic something book font, and they just pooped all over what could have been something great. If they had Gross. programmed what would have made it incredible, what would have made it unique, what would have made it groundbreaking, is that if somehow they worked an algorithm in that they had five different presets of the letters, wow. and they would wow. cycle it through. Really? If Comic Sans had five different capital A's, five different lowercase A's, etc. Five different ones, five different twos, five different 125 threes. characters all together. Right, so when you type it out, Give or take it's five. it's characterized, it's unique. We all got those things. And I know you can still hear us. So, <laughs> you just can't see us. Yeah. You can't see us, but we're still pissed. I'm still just and we're actually pissed, out of camera even, footage. Even if you, we oh. can't put any more stuff on <laughs> camera. <laughs> well, that's well, so we can be free. Well, that's all right. Days. That's well, all right. Oh, that's okay. Well, and so oh. I, we're just gonna go off here. We're just gonna put up some pictures of Comic Sans comic being sans. used. It's Perhaps a, a picture sans. of Comic Sans burning. It just looks as like lumps. The Comic Sans, and maybe it's bumpy. Look, let me. It's I'll bump. pull it up so that it's we can bumpy. really see. It's bumpy. It's lumpy. It's shrumpy. Really? It's shrumpy. It shrumps all over hey, itself. It's shrumpy. You yeah. Heard of Trump? Yeah. 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 Nah, that's Hang on, that's for the show after the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's for the show. Yeah. I got some yeah, choice. Yeah, yeah, but it's Trump. Cuts. It's lumpy. It's stompy. It's it's yeah. The font cast does not uh, associate itself with any of the political nah, yeah. views. No. Yeah. Nah, but we do. Trumpy. Yeah. All right. Trumpy. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's read this. Bullcrap article. Uh, yeah. Comic Sans MS. What the frick does that even mean? MS is a yeah. sans serif casual script mother, typeface uh, design. My machine. snakes. Okay, if you want to curse someone's name at night, Vincent Canaire. He invented Comic Sans. Curse you, and Vincent! Released, released in 1994 by the Microsoft Corporation. A corporation. Oh. It is a casual, non-connecting script inspired by comic book letters. I hate the Intended for use in informal documents and children's materials. Oh, children's oh, materials. Man, what the fuck? It makes me mad. Oh my gosh, I just want to take uh, Vincent's little head and just squeeze it. Vincent Canary. More like Vincent Canary, you're a little bird that I could drop Man, I'm just going to pop his balls like a pimple, that kid. Yeah. Right? I'm not yeah, going to agree with that, but I'm not going to disagree. Come on. Tell him something like this. Yeah. And there she goes. A little bit of... Bow. Come on, you're done. Um, Vincent, get out of here. Vincent, <laughs> with that mess. Beep, 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 all right, beep, well, beep, uh, we thank all you we all for listening. Yeah, thank this you. is supposed to be a short podcast. We hit 40 minutes. Woo! I think yeah. that's a good amount of time. Nice. That's uh, crazy Thank long. you all for listening. Thank you, everybody who watched. Who watched. Thank you, everybody who will tell their friends. Oh, yeah. Tell your um, friends. If you guys like this, we might keep Maybe this going. do another yeah. round. Another episode. And, uh... Yeah, thank That'll you. be it. Thank you for listening. Yeah. We've been the font cast That's with this Jimmy, Jimmy, Jerry, Jerry and Dill. And Dill. Yeah. And Dill. I think we should go. go. Bye.